We always scrolled through Instagram and actually wanted how on earth people get such clean speed ramps. Uh, well today we're actually going to show you exactly how it's done through After Effects. So when creating a transition through two speed ramps, you actually need them to go in the same motion. So say a clip is going left to right, your second clip needs to also go left to right. So with this clip here, you can see it's actually pulling out. So because this clip is pulling out, the next clip also needs to pull out so we can get a smooth transition from one to the other when we do a speed ramp. So first of all, we have our two clips, they cut out to exactly how we want, just move them together. Um, so now we start the speed ramping process. So here we're actually going to start with the first shot. So make sure it's clicked on, go to the timeline, right click, go to time, enable time remapping. From here, go to the start of the clip, click on the keyframe tool to create one right at the start and then go to the end and then add another keyframe. From here, we can adjust how long this clip is going to go for. So we kind of want it a bit shorter. So we're going to drag it a little shorter. So it's going to go for one second. So by pulling the clip down the keyframe, it actually speeds it up. But that isn't exactly a speed ramp just yet. It's just speeding the clip up and condensing it down. So now, highlight both keyframes, right click, keyframe velocity, press OK, and now we're going to go into the graph editor to actually get our speed ramps happening. So click graph editor, and you'll come up with this. So as you can see here, we actually have a line going from left to right. Uh, this line here indicates the speed of the actual clip right now, so that's just standard speed. So in order to create a speed ramp, we click the bottom one, raise it higher on the top one, raise it lower, kind of creating an opposite S curve. So essentially here, the steeper the curve, the faster the shot will be. So when it kind of flattens out, it becomes slower and then speed ramps back up again. So all you have to really remember is the steeper the curve, the faster it is. The flatter the curve, the slower it is. So right now, as you can see, the clip is going from fast, it's slowing down, and then ramping back up for the transition. So I don't want too harsh of a speed ramp. So I'm gonna go there and just see how it looks. So now we've got the shot how we're wanting it. We're gonna click out of graph editor, so just click here and it should bring us back. And then we'll go onto the second clip now. So drag it over so it aligns with the first clip and then replicate exactly what we did for the first clip for the second clip. So right click, time, enable time remapping, go to the start of the clip, add a keyframe, end of the clip, add another keyframe, and then we probably want to go for a, about one second again, so we're going to crush the footage down. So like before, by pulling this in, it actually speeds the clip up. So it originally went for two seconds, we've now pushed it down to one second by pushing it in. So now we highlight both keyframes of the clip, right click, keyframe velocity, and then into graph editor back again. So click graph editor. And then these are the two points we're going to be working with. So we want to create that opposite S curve again. So the start, it needs to ramp in, so it's going to be speeding in. And then grab this one, bring it down. So it speeds in slows down and then speed ramps back out again. So just creating that S curve. And just 
have a look to make sure it's all good. Don't want this harsh. There we go, pretty happy with that one. So let's see them together. Speed ramps in. And there you have it, and that's exactly how you use speed ramping in After Effects to create these smooth transitions uh, for your Instagram posts, for your car reels, real estate, whatever it may be. But another little tip to make your videos actually look cleaner um, with a bit of motion blur is using an effect called Force CC Force Motion Blur. So drag them onto both your first and second clip. And it just creates a little bit of motion so it kind of blends the shots together when you're transitioning from the first to the second. And then you get an end result like this. So hopefully this helps with your transitions and kind of makes it a little bit easier for creating the content you kind of want to create. Um, but yeah, have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Nexotic, your number one place for editing tutorials.